junior Kira Team Challenge has teamed up this year with Surfcoach.com to bring you one of the world's largest junior inter club surfing teams events. Here today we have 132 of the best surfers representing their club. What we're going to see is a showcase of the best of the best. Yes. This is a grassroots event. You've got 132 surfers here today. They've got their dads with them too. The dads are proud as punch to see their young bloke go out and win a heat for their respective club. Oh, it's fantastic they run an event like this for the kids. You know, they get to compete against kids, uh, the, the hottest kids from the east coast of Australia. And being a team's event, no one actually loses their heat, you know, so it's a really good vibe for the kids. Everyone's committing to a team, a team end, you know. Definitely very lucky to have an event like this on the Gold Coast, close to home for us. It's, um, it's a credit to them putting it on. Like, how proud would you be as a father? Look behind you, that's what it's all about. You get heats better, but also it's really fun. Like, your other teammates and your team just keep pushing you and it's really good. Yeah, just some girls trying to have some fun, seeing if they can beat a couple of boys. Watch out, boys. <laughs> a big part of sponsoring this contest is not only to help the surfers, but it's also to spread the word that surfcoach.com can help any surfer anywhere in the world just by a few clicks on the internet. There's no right and wrong way to surf. You know, it's all about just going there and having fun. But if you want to be successful in surfing, there is a right way to do it. And what surfcoach.com does, it actually displays that visually. At Kira Surf Rise, we felt we had an obligation to go back to the junior ranks of the clubs in Australia and give them a go out in the water. There's less and less events these days as well, so this is great that we can be a part of an iconic event like this. Other events have fallen over and gone by the wayside. Hopefully they come back, but for the local clubs to run something like this, it's a, it's a great, great uh, incentive for the kids. There are a lot of uh, non-events, basically, so we feel that we should put something together for these kids. It just makes all these other events so much more important. Hopefully that the major sponsors will step back on board and give these kids a go and deserve it right in life, their surfing life, to make a career of it. North Narrabeen and Merriweather have never ventured to the Gold Coast in representation of the junior uh, contingency of their club. There's sort of real camaraderie in the club and the kids appreciate it as much as all the older guys do when the main Kira, the older Kira team soldiers on. For them, it's, it's, it's not a mission, it's a pleasure for them to come here and, and see what's on offer. Teams events of the backbone of surfing, that's where, where the pro surfing came from originally, I think. They're everything, yeah. really, they just they started me surfing, so got me into the competition side of things, so all good, like, love it. Well, it's more a grassroots sort of thing, and that's why it is, funct it is focused on surfers and young surfers going forward, you know? The harmony, the vibe, the grassroots of the event is just, it's there, you know. This is Australia. It brings people back to the real world and how they are, how they started and how it's always going to be. That's the way it is and that's the way it's always going to be. That's Mr Hoyle.